Hello students, welcome to the next lecture on the Mobius transformation. Today, I will explain you the various properties hold for the fixed point Mobius transformation. Myself, Dr. Harishkar, you can follow and subscribe my YouTube channel. Now, what we have discussed so far, we have learned the idea of the fixed point in our last lecture. If I quickly recall you the concept of the fixed point, if you have the subset of the extended complex plane, what is the C infinity? C infinity is a collection of all those elements of the C and the infinity point. Then the point Z is said to be the fixed point if the point coincide with the transformations. For example, if I say my transformation is Z square, then there are the two methods to check the fixed point. The first method is if you simply choose z is equal to 0, then what is the value of that t of 0? Or what is the value of that t of z? Then clearly say t of z will be 0, which is same as z. Then you can say z is my fixed point. Similarly, you can say z is equal to 1. Then what is the value of that t of z? 1 square is again 1 which is again as a z, therefore z is equal to 1 also the fixed point. Can you say z is equal to minus 1 is the fixed point? What is the value of that t of z when z is equal to minus 1, which is plus 1, which is not equal to z because z is my minus 1. Therefore, z is equal to minus 1 is not fixed point. This is the first method you can check by the inspection. Otherwise, second method is you can check with the help of the definition. What is the definition is? You can start with the z is equal to tz. tz is my z square. Then clearly say z into 1 minus z is equal to 0, which implies z is equal to 0 and 1 are the fixed point. Fine. Moreover, you can also see if you take z is equal to infinity, then what is the value of that tz is infinity which is also as z. Therefore, infinity is also fixed point of the transformation. So as the first part, it's a 0, 1 and infinity are the fixed point. Similarly, for the second case, you can start with the z is equal to t of z, which implies z square is equal to 1. That implies z is equal to plus minus 1 are the fixed point of the given transformation. And similarly, for the last case, z is equal to t of z, which implies 0 is equal to minus 1, which is not possible. Hence, there is no fixed point in the complex plane C. However, in the C infinity, you can clearly say z is equal to infinity is my fixed point. So, which has a no fixed point in the complex plane C, but it has a one fixed point in the C infinity. Now, in this lecture, we will see what are the various properties of the fixed point. If you want to learn more examples of the related to the fixed point, you can watch about my this lecture fixed point available at my YouTube channel playlist complex analysis. In this playlist, you can see the various other lectures related to the Mobius transformations, conformal mappings, residues, Schwarz lemma, and many more lectures available in this playlist. You can follow and subscribe my YouTube channel. Now, the first property is every Mobius transformation fixes three points as a fixed point, then it is the identity map. That means if any Mobius transformation fixes 0, 1 and infinity, then it is always be my identity map. Remember, the transformation is my Mobius. So, what is the Mobius transformation? Az plus b divided by Cz plus d where AD minus BC is non-zero. Now, what is given to you? It is given that T of 0 is my 0, T of 1 is equal to 1, and T of infinity is equal to infinite. Basically, the meaning is fixes means that is a fixed point 0, 1, and infinity. Now, what does the meaning of that T of 0 is equal to 0? If you look about this case, if you substitute T of 0 is equal to 0, then 0, 0 plus b, so that means b is equal to 0. Fine. The first case t of 0 implies b is equal to 0. 
second case t of infinity is equal to infinity how you can find that az plus b cz plus d that means you can simply take the limit z approaches infinity so that implies what is the ratio is a over c so when will happen it happens only when c is equal to 0 and t of 1 is equal to 1 that implies 1 is equal to a plus b over c plus d now because b is equal to 0 c is equal to 0 that implies 1 is equal to a over d hence a is equal to d fine now you have all those values you can substitute the values in the equation number 1 you will get a is equal to d b is equal to 0 c is equal to 0 d is my d so d and d will be cancel so the mobius transformation is my identity map look at the second property the mobius transformation c infinity to c infinity has at most two fixed points unless it is a identity map if you look about the three previous property how many fixed point three fixed point fine so you can see once it has a three fixed point or more than two fixed point then it is always the identity and the same result here the mobius transformation has at most two fixed points unless it is identity or in other words if the mobius transformation leaves three fixed points then it is called as the identity function the proof is again within the two lines let us consider the mobius transformation such that ad minus bc is equal to is non zero now you can consider in such a way that the it is not an identity map therefore if it is not the identity map when t of z is not equal to z that implies t of z is equal to z fine now you can substitute the value what is that t of z az plus b divided by cz plus d which is equal to z now you can cross multiply them it is az plus b which is equal to cz square plus b z fine i can simplify this this is c of z square plus b minus a sorry it's a d c fine d minus a minus b is equal to 0 now clearly say the equation number 1 what is that equation number 1 equation number 1 is my quadratic equations and once is a quadratic equation how many roots you have the roots are at most two and the roots are known as the fixed point of the mobius transformation now we will consider the two cases whenever c is equal to c is non zero and c is my zero when c is my non zero then clearly say what is the value of the minus d over c and what is the value of the infinity clearly say whenever t of minus d by c is a zero uh, sorry uh, it's a infinity and t of infinity will be my a over c what does it implies because it implies minus d over c and infinity is not fixed point fine why because if minus d over c is a fixed point then instead of the infinity it must be minus d over c and if infinity is a fixed point then instead of the ac it must be infinity fine so we can say minus d over c and infinity are not the fixed point now from this equation number 1 which is my quadratic equations therefore it has at most two solutions or call as a two fixed point second case if c is equal to 0 what is the value of the t of z the equation becomes a over d plus b over d then you can clearly say what is the value of that t of infinity that's infinity that implies infinity z is equal to infinity is one fixed point is it okay infinity is one of the fixed point now can how you can find the second point again you can substitute c is equal to 0 in the equation number 1 so put c is equal to 0 in equation number 
so you will get d minus a into z minus b is equal to zero. That implies z is equal to b over d minus a is the second fixed point of the given Mobius transformation. So therefore, z is equal to infinity and b over d minus a are the two fixed point of the Mobius transformation. Look at another one. I hope you can like and comment on this video as well. The Mobius transformation is uniquely determined by specifying its three distinct point. What does the meaning? That means if you have the two Mobius transformation T and S which coincides at the three points which coincides at the three point then you can say T is nothing but my S. In other words, if S and T are the two Mobius transformations which agree at the three points of the C infinity, then S is equal to T. The proof is very very simple. Again, we can see there are the three distinct points. I can assume A, B and C are the three distinct points and capital T is my Mobius transformations. Therefore, I can say T of A, T of B, T of C. So I can say this number is say my alpha, this number is my beta, this number is my gamma. Fine. Remember, if you read the statement, they are not talking about the fixed point. Are they talking about the fixed point? No. They have say they agree on the three points. They are not talking about the fixed point. If they are the fixed point, then instead of the alpha, it must be the A. Instead of the beta, it must be the B. Instead of the gamma, it must be the C. But in the given property, they are not talking about the, not talking about the fixed point. Fine. Now I can assume, I can assume S is my another Mobius transformation. Fine. Which coincide with the given point A, B, and C. Fine. Now your target is to prove S is equal to T, or your target is to prove S composition ter circle C, uh, S, compo S inverse composition T is my identity. So now let's start with the first case. S inverse composition T of say A. Fine. So what is happen? It's S inverse of T of A. What is the T of A? It is alpha. And what is the S inverse of alpha, which is my A. Similarly, similarly, I can prove that S inverse composition T of B, it will be S inverse T of B, which is equal to S inverse of beta and S inverse of beta will be my B. Similarly, S inverse composition T of C, which is equal to C. What does it meaning? S inverse composition T of A is my A. B of B is C of C. What does it inverse? That means this is my identity map. And once the number is my, this map is my identity. Hence, hence S is same as of the T is the required proof of this property. Now you can see there is a very simple way you can learn the properties of the given transformations. For more details, you can watch and follow my this playlist for the complete lecture series on the Mobius transformation. The next lecture is a very, very interesting. We will see how you can define the cross ratio and the corresponding concept in the Mobius transformation. I hope you can like, you can share this video with your friends. I'm waiting for your comment box with your qu queries. Happy learning always. Best wishes. Thanks for the watch.